So let's take a look in Keynote at how we can create a simple drag and drop activity. Now this one I'm going to use today is a very simple create a face activity where we have the shapes here that we've added in and we can simply drag them onto the face of our character. So if I was to work on a blank template, I can take the mouth, I can choose a set of eyes and you get the idea. I can just build that. Now the idea here is that the student would follow the instruction that's given through the audio recording to then create the face. So let's have a look at what that would look like. Let's move this one out of the way. First of all, I'd start on tapping plus, tap record audio and tap record. Can you make a face of a female who looks angry? Tap insert. And then that could just go here as a prompt for the student to follow. But how do we get these eyes, noses, mouths, hair, etc. onto the page in the first place? Well, that's quite simple if we use split screen. I'm going to drag it from the bottom and I'm going to select Safari because that's where I'm going to search for some of these images. Tap in here and just search for, let's say, eyes. And I'm going to ask for it to be a PNG because I know I'm going to get some good results here. So if I tap on images, here you go, we've got a range of eyes that we can use. Now, one key thing to learn here when we're using anything in Google Images is these pictures are not necessarily there for me to use. They're there that I can look at, but not necessarily for me to use. To make sure that I can use them, if I go to my settings, oops, sorry, if I go to tools and tap on usage rights, I can choose the ones that are labeled for reuse. This means I can now use those pictures because they have been given permission for me to use. So I'm going to take these set of eyes here. So tap and hold, drag, and just drop them onto the page. Now I can get rid of this for a second. Now to make them so that they will sit over without the background, I simply select, tap the paintbrush, tap image, tap instant alpha, and then tap on the white that I want to get rid of, and then release, tap done, and now I have a transparent image that I can use and select. And you just complete that whole process for all of the different elements that you want to create a drag and drop board for your students to get creative with. So there you go.